this one and I attach to the mug because what I had in mind is exactly this I was going to make something 3D-ish <laughs> Uh, like the little frog on a little, almost looks like a fern or a leaf that is sprouting, so it's he's hanging onto it. It's a, it's gonna be a red-eyed tree frog. And then behind that, I wanted to use the cuerda seca technique. So what I do first is I, I usually, the way I start is I look at pictures. So I Google for tropical gardens, tropical plants, and that's what I use as an inspiration and then, and then I just freehand. I freehanded all this design. It's kind of hard to see because it's very light. I do it with a, just a pencil. So I freehanded my design, which has got a hibiscus flower here. It's got a larger one over here. Uh, some lower leaves at the bottom here. I might have smeared the the oil just a little bit here but that's okay you always have to keep in mind when you're using oil um, since it is a resist you have to be careful not putting your hand you know and then smearing that as I did before <laughs> so you have to be careful uh, so I I don't know if you can see my design I have another hibiscus here uh, heliconia with the leaves from the heliconia kind of going the opposite way from from the rim down and then you can see the stems of the leaves going around so that's on on the back side of the mug and on the front is the little frog and other leaves and stuff so because it's getting kind of busy now, I'm gonna try to keep my hand underneath, I mean, inside the mug so I can demo. So first thing, I already painted these. So I wanna show you. Every time, right before I use it, I mix, I mix this a little better so that it gets that the red iron oxide that settles to the bottom. So I don't want it to be separated because I, I do want it to be as dark as possible. So I do another stir really well. And then I just put a little bit on the, I wanna make sure it's not. <laughs> I put just a little bit on the lid like that. And that's what I will be using for my brush. I have two liner brushes that I use. This one was from my from my mom. She used to paint uh, China paint. She doesn't anymore, so she gave me a lot of her brushes, and this is from Brazil. But it's just a a real small kind of short bristles uh, liner brush. So I like this one. It makes some real fine lines. But my favorite is this one here. It's from. Uh, the name of the website I bought it from is called orientalartsupply.com and I'll put the link on my video. It's uh, H0, H0 is the, the number. It's a very fine, kind of like a bamboo brush and it makes some real fine lines. And what I did with this mug before I start drawing my design, I, um, I sanded, I used my mask, but because this is a speckled brown clay, it has a little bit of grit to it. So you try to make it as smooth as possible, which makes uh, painting so much easier uh, where the brush just glides. I still find some places where there are little lines and creases in there on the clay 
where it almost looks like it skips, but that's okay. You know, I'm not that worried about it as long as it's pretty smooth. So this is the one that I was telling you, I might make some polka dots on it. I still wanna make a line in the middle. Then I have, I have the, they're either going on the background or on the foreground. I have to remember what I have it on the, you know, going forward, like that flower, this leaf is, is going, you know, the flower is on the background for this leaf and it's above that other plant that is on the bottom here. So just following my, my design here. As you can see, this is a great liner brush, I think. So I'm going to decide what I'm going to do here with the polka dots that I want to do and, and then we'll start glazing and I'll show you uh, how I 
how I glaze this.